Donald Trump's ideas, they're not even really ideas, just a series of bizarre rants, personal feuds, and outright lies. Hillary Clinton is turning her attention to the general election, which means convincing people not to vote for Donald Trump. That's what she's doing here today in San Diego, trotting out her new favorite line of attack. But a lot of people have a lot of different ideas about the best case to make against Donald Trump. That is dangerous. So far, she's mainly been painting him as reckless. I've never heard such reckless, risky talk. Which didn't work in the primaries. He's a chaos candidate. And he'd be a chaos president. And Clinton's been running a campaign against Trump that's not so different than the one President Obama ran against Mitt Romney. Governor Romney said he just wants to repeal Dodd-Frank. Roll it back. He wants to roll back the financial regulations. But Donald Trump is a very different candidate than Mitt Romney, with a different appeal, and with different weaknesses that Clinton has started to point out more often, mixing attacks on Trump's character into the type of policy critiques you'd expect. It's not hard to imagine Donald Trump leading us into a war just because somebody got under his very thin skin. The idea that attacking Trump's ego resonates with voters is backed up by hard data. A survey from a veteran Democratic pollster shows that's the area where voters feel most negatively toward Trump. It's that line of attack that could work for Clinton in the general election. And it's something we'll hear a lot more of leading up to the conventions. Now, I will leave it to the psychiatrist to explain his affection for tyrants.